Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Gemini. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself in the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magical spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, Geminis. Let's go ahead and hop in and get this message. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Let's go ahead and hop in. The Spirit allowed me to be the channel. What's the message? Gift. So, Geminis, um, someone could be, you know, gifting you a gift. Someone could be wanting to surprise you. Or, you know, it's just something that, you know, you've been wanting and waiting for. You could be alone, Gem Gemini, or um, there's someone in your energy that is alone. So uh, maybe, uh, you know, you're withdrawn from people. You know, you could be in hermit mode. Um, but I feel like there is a gift coming towards you. Or the gift could be from someone, you know, that has withdrawn from you or you've withdrawn from this person. Heartbreak. Hmm. So whoever this is that's alone, they either um, are the ones that, you know, cause the heartbreak or this is you, Gemini, that is heartbroken. I feel as though um, whoever this is that could be gifting you something or there or whoever this is, you know, you've been waiting for them for a long time. You know, they could be now coming towards you. You've been alone for a while. Whoever this person is, they could have caused heartbreak. This person definitely is obsessed with you. Yeah. You could be uh, dealing with trust issues um, with this person because I do feel like it's a person that does want to come towards you. You know, they could possibly have a gift as well. But, um, yeah, you're damaged from the past and you, you're trying to heal. But I feel as though there is a masculine energy um, that does have trust issues as well. And they could also be healing from, you know, damage from a past relationship. Yeah, and so uh, countless suitors came out. So whoever this is that could possibly want to come towards you to give gift you something, um, I feel as though they have broken your heart and they've caused a lot of trust issues. So whoever this is, you don't trust them, Gemini. And it's because, you know, they have countless suitors, but they could have possibly told you that you're the only one that they uh, see and want. And so whoever this is, you know, has caused trust issues um, for themselves when it comes to you. Yeah. Single. So this definitely could be you. You could be, you know, a feminine energy. Single. You know, beautiful, bold, um, go-getter, courageous, enthous enthusiasm. And so with that being said... Um, Whoever this is, because they, you know, have broken your heart in, in the past, this person could possibly be going within and actually, you know, acknowledging the fact that they did break your heart. 
um, whoever this person is, this obsessed card gives me love. So whoever this is, they do love you. They feel like you're theirs and they're you and they're yours. Um, but the fact of the matter is, this masculine has trust issues, and I feel like you have trust issues as well. I feel like both of you guys, you know, are feeling like that. You both have countless suitors, but you both want to be together. But I feel as though this masculine really feels like that whoever this feminine energy is, Gemini, that this feminine energy, you know, has a lot of uh, suitors. But they do want to be with this feminine energy. Um, and I'm also getting to that whoever this is. They possibly want to give you a gift because you are alone. So you could be, you know, um, a single mom. And so they could possibly, you know, want to gift you, you know, some finances or something like that because you are alone. And because, you know, they did create heartbreak for you. So whoever this is, they could just possibly be wanting to try to pay you back for all the, the hurt and pain that they caused. Yeah. Karma. Why me? Um, justice is definitely going to be served on your behalf, Gemini. That's what it says. Karmic cycle, justice will be served. Yeah. Should I stay or should I leave? Time to make a decision. The ball is in your court. And then at the bottom of the deck, letting go. It's over. No more drama. No more stress. Time to live again. So whoever this is, they feel as though they are getting some type of karma. And they know that you're basically making a decision whether to stay or, you know, to go. And they know that the ball is in your court because they are getting karma. And they know what they have done to you. And so they feel as though, yeah, you're letting them go. Mm. Whoever this person is, they definitely could be locked up legal issues um, but you can it, be expecting you know some type of call from this person um, but whoever this is they definitely could be you know locked up yeah this person definitely feels rejected they feel you know like basically um, you basically have separated from them to take some time for yourself which I feel as though that's what you're doing because I mean this Whoever this is, they look like that they're just focusing on themselves. Good news is coming, though. Good news is coming. Yeah. Read between the lines. You'll find the answers someone will tell you without telling you. So, yeah. You could have went, you know, you could have been with this person for a long time. You could have been, you know, uh on you know this long journey with this person for a long time mm -hmm. relocating so whoever this person is they could possibly you know want to relocate we have sneaky link so they could possibly be you know relocating to you know their sneaky link and not you but again telling you that you know you're theirs they're yours they want to be with you they're the only one that you see and want um, whoever this is, um, yeah, they could be, you know, going towards a sneaky link. Um, but they feel as though you guys have unfinished business, like I said. They want a second chance with you to show you that they can be, you know, the one for you. Yeah, whoever this is, they're definitely yearning for you. They're missing you. They're thinking about the good times, you know. And they realize that they've never had anyone like you. But your but your intuition is 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 telling you or is going to tell you something about this person. All right, y'all. Let's go. Spirit, why is gift here?
Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So whoever this is, it could be, you know, a Queen of Swords, a King of Swords, you know, vice versa, if you want to or if you need to. But I feel like there is someone that is bringing come want that wants to come towards you to offer you some type of gift. And for some of you, it is a physical gift. For others of you, it's the gift of truth. But I feel as though you've spoken some truth to this person. So it could be possibly that, you know, you used your spiritual gift to discern, you know, what was going on. And you could have spoke some truth to this person. Um, well, with that being said, yeah, they could be gifting you with the gift of truth. Why's alone here? Yeah, page of wands, good news. Yeah, so yeah. Whoever this is, they do want to, again, give some type of gift. Maybe they want to be a gift to you. But whoever you are, this is your energy. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You definitely, you know, could be alone. And so maybe spirit is gifting you, you know, something because you stood your ground. And, you know, you've stayed on your spiritual journey and you've done the work. And so, with that being said, with this truth here, maybe someone did, you know, go within um, and, you know, realize that whatever you said was true. And so, they want to bring forth some type of news. What is this heartbreak? Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, so whoever this is, they definitely broke your heart. But they're also heartbroken because you're in your empress energy. You know, you're 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 basically walking in your empress power. And so with that being said, you know, they basically feel like you've left them alone um, and basically focused on yourself. And so they're heartbroken because they feel as though you're just going to keep moving forward without them and you're going to basically leave them alone. And so with that being said, um, there is some 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 news that is coming to you, Empress or Emperor. Obsessed. Yeah. Judgment. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they broke your heart. So, you know, you continued on your spiritual journey you know, to ascend and, you know, to transform. And so with that being said, you know, you're in Empress, stat Empress status. You could be operating in the Queen of Swords energy. And with that being said, you know, this masculine, because I feel like it's a masculine, it could be a feminine. Um, they are definitely, you know, facing the truth. And, and the truth is that they are obsessed with someone else as well. Um, you know, they, they do love you, you know, they do want to be with you, but they're definitely, you know, obsessed with someone else. And so this gift is also giving me divine counterpart energy. And so you could have been, you know, this person's gift from God, Gemini. And this person, you know, could have ghosted you, left you alone and went towards someone else, but you're going to get some good news. Um, and it has something to do with the heartbreak that was caused. But yeah, whoever this is, they are facing the truth that, you know, basically they are obsessed with someone else, but basically still wanting to be with you. Or there's someone that is obsessed with them. You know, that won't let them go. But with that being said, with this judgment here, if that's the case, this person is under judgment because they weren't supposed to go that way. They were supposed to, you know basically um, be with you, Gemini. Trust issues. Yeah. Five of Wands. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, whoever this is that they, you know, went towards, that left, basically they left you alone, ghosted you, and went towards someone else. Um, whoever this person is, it's from their past. 
and they definitely have caused a lot of drama you know in in the family situationship they've caused a lot of strife and you know envy they've caused a lot of competition a lot of fighting just a lot of you know negative toxic things and so you know that's one of the reasons why this person has trust issues but i'm also getting to that this person you know try to bring you know that drama into your life and so it caused you to have trust issues with this person because of all the five of wands energy that they excuse me that they try to bring to your life count countless suitors mm -hmm. queen of wands so yeah for some of you they feel like yeah that you have a lot of count countless suitors they feel like that you know you're living your best life you are here you know just doing the most queen of wands and countless, su countless suitors they think that you're having sex with a lot of people um because you're single because you're beautiful because you know you could be curvy and you know you're you're the empress but i don't think that's the case alone and single is here so i don't feel as though you have countless suitors i feel like this person does um but of course you know they're guilty and so they want you to be guilty single yeah nine of wands yeah yeah you don't have countless suitors you're choosing to be single because you've already went through too much you know with being you know in a situation with whoever this is and the fact of the matter is you're still standing you done went through a whole lot and you're still beautiful, curvy, bold, a go-getter, passionate, enthusiast, enthusiasm, cur courageous. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So you, I don't believe that you have, you know, a lot of countless suitors. Why is karma here, spirit? Because they've been gossiping and lying about you, Gemini. Page of Swords. But I also feel like that you, you know, have saw something and you spoke about it to this person. Mm -hmm. Should I stay or leave? Six of Cups. So yeah, this whoever this is, Gemini, they're definitely still juggling. They're 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 trying to figure out. You know, should they stay with the past or should they leave the past? And I feel as though, yeah, uh, you did see something and say something about them and, you know, this past person. And so whoever this is, they, you know, are facing the truth and they, you know, are going through karma. And whoever this person is, you know, the card says, why me? So I feel as though they didn't think that they were going to get caught, Gemini. They didn't think that, you know, you would find out whatever this is, but you did. And so now, you know, they're basically juggling again. They're trying to figure out, should they stay, you know, with this person or should they leave? But I feel like, you know, for some of you, they just might be leaving. Let's keep going. Uh, Spirit, put one on gift and queen of swords. Wow, Eight of Cups. Let me put the camera down, y'all. Yeah, so whoever you, whoever this Queen of Swords is, which is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Crash, Gemini. Um, yeah, this person could want to gift you something, or again, you're a gift from God to this person. Anyways, you spoke some type of truth, and you walked away. And left this person, you know, where they were standing. Or this person, you know, walked away from you. Take it how it resonates. But there is some good news coming. Alone, page of wands. Mm-hmm. 
And I feel like for those of you that, you know, walked away from this person after you spoke some type of truth, this person knows that they created, you know, trust issues um, because of all the, the competition, all the drama that they tried to, you know, put you in and bring in your life. Um, but yeah, you walked away from this person. Yeah, I just heard this is a gift from God. So um, whatever this gift is, it's coming straight from the most high. You've been alone. You know, and, and you've been, again, doing the work. Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. And so, Page of Wands, you're going to get some good news. And it is about this gift. And it could be in the form of money. Nine of Pentacles. But I'm also getting to that it could be about, you know, a job or a work situation. So you could be, you know, getting a raise. Or you could be getting, um, you know, some type of promotion or something like that. Heartbreak, Empress. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah. And so whoever this is, they're definitely alone. You know, they, I mean, they do have, you know, others that they, you know, are involved in. But they feel as though you've left them alone. You've withdrawn from them. But you have been withdrawn from people. You have basically put yourself in self-quarantine. Um... But I feel as though it's just the way that you live. You know, you could just go to work, you know, take care of your family or whatever. Um, you know, have your little fun or whatever. But you could just be a homebody. And so Spirit appreciates that. You know, Spirit appreciates that you're just, you know, living your regular, normal life on your spiritual journey. And that's basically what He wants us to do. Nothing extra. Because everything extra He's going to bring to us. We don't have to go get it. So I don't feel like... You're the club type, you know, you're the, the one that, you know, I don't, I feel like you're very reserved and you'd rather be alone with your family and, and, and friends and things of that nature. Um, and so whoever this is, yeah, they definitely, you know, see you in the Nine of Pentacles energy. They definitely see you as the Empress. And so it's breaking their heart because they've caused, you know, a lot of, a lot of hurt and pain, a lot of heartache. And so basically, yeah, you you, you 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 got your stuff and you and you left. But this person, yeah, they're heartbroken because you're in the Empress energy and you're working hard. You know, you're meeting, you know, your financial expectations, your emotional expectations. You're just meeting every expectation that you have for yourself. And this person is in the Ten of Wands energy because they're over there in a obsessed situationship and they're having to face the truth. Obsessed judgment. Yeah, four swords. Mm hmm So yeah. And whoever they went towards, um I feel like, yeah, I'm getting, you know, very karmic -y energy. And so this person could be praying, you know, to basically get them out of the situation that they put themselves in and possibly kept putting themselves in, but at the same time, you know, they're under judgment and so it could be causing you know a lot of anxiety and depression so whoever this is they could have could be going to see some type of counselor or something you know to deal with anger issues to deal with um you know family drama and things of that nature but they're basically having anxiety and depression because they know that they did some things to cause you to have trust issues with them. And what they've done was to be in the Five of Wands energy and have that energy around them and, and try to bring it to you and, and into your life. Trust issues, Five of Wands. Yeah. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this person definitely is in a third party situation. And it's full of drama. And whoever this third party is, that is the main reason why this person has trust issues. Countless suitors, Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Mm hmm. Wow. 
So yeah, whoever this person is, that they, they could have you know up to uh, three people, you know, count three countless suitors. Um, the fact of the matter is, they want you to be one of them. So they could possibly want to be with you, and then with this four of wands here, they could be married or in a committed relationship with a third party. So basically, they it seems like they want you and this person. Or you and these people. But, you know, they could, again, have countless suitors. And they could possibly know that, you know, you are the one that they want to be with. And so they could possibly want to tell you that, you know, they want to marry you. But I feel as though whoever this third party is, they could have possibly, you know, married this third party. But they know that you are confident now confident way more than you know you were yesterday the day before yesterday last month last year and so because you know this person has taken you through a lot they know um that you're single and that you there could be you know people that do want to you know be with you you know take you out on a date things of that nature or even marry you nine of wands single Yep, yep. Because the fact of the matter is, you've done been through a lot in your life. And so, you know, for some of you, you do have, you know, someone or some people that are trying to court you, even trying to marry you. But you just want to be happy. But again, with the sun here and then karma and page of swords, something was revealed to you or it is going to be revealed to you. And so whoever this person is, they can't believe that or they're not going to believe that you, you know, found out. Karma, Page of Swords. The truth. <laughs> what we started out with, the truth. Mm -hmm. And it's about, you know, the past. So maybe, you know, this person was telling you that they were going to leave them. But to be honest they haven't or they're not they're basically still trying to figure out they're still at a crossroads should i stay or should i leave six of cups the past should i stay or should i leave in six of cups king of cups mm -hmm. yeah because he's emotionally attached to this past person queen of swords eight of cups King of Wands. So yeah. A ladies man. So yeah. Uh you could have been a gift from spirit to this person. You walked away from this person because, you know, they were they're a ladies man. And they were and 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 you could have found out that they were in this um karmic situation ship that they, you know, basically were trying to have you involved in. And this masculine knows that you have trust issues with them. They do. Uh, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, I've seen it. Ooh. Spirit is getting ready to bless you, honey. Oh, my Gemini. Yes. And I feel like it's for you, you know, walking away. Sometimes we have to, you know, do what we don't want to do to get what we want. And this is what I feel like is going on. Wow. The Empress, Ten of Wands. Yeah, and whoever this is, they did offer, you know, this the Ace, Ace of Pentacles to this third party. Um, and so with that being said, and it, and with this, it could be money, but I feel like it was just your offer. So you were the gift to this person, Gemini, and this person turned around and basically became a gift to this third party. So spirit says, oh, well, you're still going to get your gift <laughs> because you did the work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 
this person is heartbroken because yeah you're the empress and you know they cause a lot of obstacles and challenges they cause a lot of you know hurt and pain um and so basically they feel like that you have a lot of options a lot of countless suitors judgment four of swords mm -hmm. yeah they're having anxiety and depression um, because they're facing the truth that they did try to create some type of illusion. And it's about this third party. Five of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah. Six of Swords. And so, yeah, Spirit guided, Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, God himself guided you away from this situation. And basically gave you the information that you needed, which was the truth. Page of Swords and Ace of Swords. So, yeah, whoever this is, they're definitely getting their karma. Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, for trying to create an illusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nine of Cups. So yeah, you were you were you were divinely led away from this person um, to go fulfill your wishes somewhere else. And so with um, countless suitors, Queen of Wands, uh, Four of Wands, and Nine of Cups. Yeah, there could be a lot of people that want to you know court you. The fact of the matter is, there is going to be one that is for you. Um, and you could possibly marry this person and it's going to be wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. And so, yeah, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups Spirit is leading you to wish fulfillment. And it could be about stability as well with this Four of Wands. Single and the Sun. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. So, yeah. You're happy and they're heartbroken. But they're also heartbroken because of what whatever was revealed to you, which was the truth. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, the star <laughs> came out bad self. Mm -hmm. And so I feel as though once you spoke that truth, you healed. You've, you've healed from this situation. And, and yeah, you're moving forward. Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, uh, King of Cups, the High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they're definitely emotionally attached to this past person. And you know this. And you know who this past person is. Put one on the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit. Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they gave the offer away to someone else. The offer didn't belong. The gift didn't belong to whoever this third party is. The offer, the gift was yours. And so, yeah, they're all up in their heads now because you found out the truth about everything that's going on. And so they're, yeah. Why me? Why me? And look at the bird in his ear. Yeah. Third party got them all mentally confused. Uh, the sun, three of swords. Page of cups in reverse, yeah. And you don't want any apologies. <laughs> They're heartbroken because you won't allow them to apologize. Ten of wands, seven of cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, yeah. The fact of the matter is, they had a lot of options. <laughs> so they betrayed you with a lot of options, showing you unrequited love. And then, again, they try to say that you had count, you know, countless suitors. And that you, that you were out here doing the most. Yeah. But God, but God, you focus on your spirituality. You don't have time for it. And, and yeah, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, yeah. Your wishes are getting ready to be fulfilled straight from God. Eight of Pentacles definitely could be a work situation or, you know, some finances that you manifested. You're getting ready to be able to take a leap of faith, you know. If you felt like that you weren't, um, you know, that you were feeling left out in the cold, 
Five of Pentacles when it comes to the lovers. Gemini's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue to love on yourself. Because there is an offer coming. All right, y'all. Let's clear this canvas so that we can get the rest of the message. Try to do it real quick. Like. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Don't be laughing at the way I sneeze. Y'all know everybody has weird sneezes. I think it's cute to listen to people sneeze because everybody has their little own way of sneezing. Yeah. And whoever this is, y'all, they could possibly just want to bring you a gift that because they think that, you know, that's going to solidify, you know, an apology. The fact of the matter is, you're not even allowing them to come towards you to apologize. So, yeah, why? Because boundaries, expectations, and standards. That's why. Yeah, this person definitely could be lying to keep you. With that bird in the five of swords, that bird in his ear, yeah. They should have listened more and talked less. Because whoever this is, for some of you, you, remember the card came out in the beginning that said that they were, you know, locked up. Yeah, if they would have listened more and talked less, this person probably uh, could have got released from jail or prison. Because remember, the Hierophant was there. So you're very spiritual. You're very powerful. Yeah, and guess what? They're not... They're faking a spiritual journey. And so with that judgment, yeah, they're surrendering to spirit now. Spirit is making them surrender. Why? Because they're childish, immature, and petty. Yeah, and you definitely did get some type of wisdom, some type of knowledge, some type of enlightenment. Really, it was knowledge. It was the truth. And yeah, you threw it away. There, yeah, this person could be locked up because of some illegal activity that was caught on camera. Person definitely definitely needs to heal childhood wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because whoever this is, they're definitely reckless and dangerous, and spirit is telling you to reject this person to protect you. Yeah, and ever since you walked away from this person, they've been running from karma. Yeah, because for some of you, you know, they were married. For others of you, they were just, you know, uh, with this person, with this third party for stability. <clears throat> yeah. You're definitely going to be getting a new beginning. You're definitely going to be able to start all over again, Gemini. There is a change that's coming. Or, you know, whoever this third party is, they could still want to compete with you. Um, about this new beginning or cause some type of conflict. But either way it goes, 555 is here. Mm -hmm. So whoever this person is, they possibly do want a new beginning. They possibly do want to start over with you. Uh, they know that you've changed. They know that they've put you in competition and conflict. And so they could possibly be taking a step back to rethink, <clears throat> you know, what was said because you did you spoke some truth
And now they're scared of the unknown. They're scared of what's going to happen. Because, yeah, they did. They showed you unrequited love. Fake love. Mm -hmm. Definitely using people for money. So that's why they have, you know, their options. Why they try to say you had options. Yeah. They could have even threatened, you know, physical harm to someone. Maybe even you. Yeah. But you live a different life. And they need to live a different life. Wow. Yeah, they live a different life. They definitely could be your twin flame for some of you. <clears throat> but they, yeah, they, they live a different life with this person from the past than, than they do with you. So they know that you're not going to put up, you know, with the foolishness. Yeah. And you're healing. You're healing. But we do have a third party out here. Three or more people. Look, time is up. Third parties, time is up. Yeah, karma and judgment. A couple more. Yeah, because this third party could just be using, you know, your person. They're definitely a control freak. Or your person is. Yeah, and there's getting ready to be a change, y'all. So, Geminis, I hope this message resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.